Hey guys, Gaijin Goomba here. You know what my biggest problem is with this show? I find more information than I can put into an episode. Case in point, I just picked up Animal Crossing New Leap for the 3DS, known in Japan as Dobutsu no Mori, or Animal's Forest, and if you haven't gotten it yet, I think you totally should, and I've been blown away by how much Japanese culture is in this game. But it was this morning at 6.30am when I realized I couldn't wait anymore. My mind got blown so hard, I was up at my computer getting all the visuals I needed to get this episode going by 7am. It was that cool. So think of this episode as a mini my mind got blown too hard not to at least briefly talk about this episode. Okay, so let me get the easy one out of the way. Cap'n. Cap'n has many roles in many Animal Crossing games, but in New Leaf he takes you to Tortimer Island. On the way, he'll sing all kinds of cute songs, ranging from his skirt-chasing days, to dealing with their fathers, to his love of the sea, and so on. However, Cap'n spends a lot of time singing about cucumbers. This is because, well, he's a Kappa. Now, I talked about Kappas briefly in my first episode of Season 2, and talking about how they kidnap children. Well, if you give them a cucumber, it will make them happy enough to leave you alone. Cool little factoid, right? Next, let's talk about Tom Nook. Now, what do we know about him? Most people know he's obsessed with money and is a tanuki. What most people don't know is the parallel between those two facts. Now, if you've ever seen a statue or a picture of a tanuki in Japan, you'll notice their huge, well, baggage downstairs. A lot of people jump to the conclusion that this is a symbol of fertility and sexual prowess. It actually is not. It's a symbol of financial wealth. Okay, let me explain. In Kanazawa Prefecture back in the day, metal workers would take tanuki skins, make them into pouches, put in melted gold, and pound them into gold coins. The skin was unique in that it was extremely strong and malleable, perfect for pounding out these coins. Since the Japanese term for a ball of gold was kin no tama, and the slang term for testes was kin tama, eventually the two merged together in the personification of tanuki balls. So while we don't know what Tom is hiding under his apron, at least we know it has to do with money, right? Right? I actually got a tweet from Did You Know Gaming who said that there was a possible link to Tom Nook giving you a house and how Tanuki can use their scrotum as a house. Well, I looked into it, and while I couldn't find anything specifically about houses, I did find that Tanuki used their balls for all sorts of tools, shelter, and so on. So perhaps Tom Nook and the Nooklings, being the main seller of tools as well as homes, makes even more sense than I realize. Okay, this last fact is what got me working at 7 a.m. I had just bought a TV this morning, and when I turned it on, this is what I saw and heard. So check it out. Now, I do apologize that this is sort of a guerrilla cinematography, but it's what I had to work with at 7 a.m. Okay, it doesn't seem strange, right? But what many of you may not know is that this is directly referencing Rajo Taiso Daichi. Basically what Rajo Taiso Daichi is, is a quick morning calisthenics workout on the radio or TV. Let me show you a quick example. せすじを十分に伸ばしましょう。手足の運動。一、二、三、四。さあ、かかとの上下運動をしっかりと行いましょう。軽快に駆け足足踏み。一、二、三、四。体を大きくねじり反らせて斜め下に曲げます。もう一